Hi, so I'm filming Relin's little pond, which is next to her steps. And I think there's a newt lives in here. So I'm going to go and try and catch it. And when I do, I'm going to flip it out, put it in this little bowl, just have a quick look at it and then set it free again. But this water is very muddy and slimy. And one day we might look at what all the slime's made of under a microscope. But let's start off with seeing if there's a newt. Now, what you have to do is pick up handfuls of disgusting slime like that. And if there is a newt, it'll be in the slime and you suddenly feel the slime wriggle. Now, there was definitely one here this morning because I felt it. In fact, I saw it. And I can feel it now. There it goes. Look, there's the little newt. Can you see it? Don't know what sort it is. We're going to look it up. It's got beautiful little spots. Can you see? I don't need to put it in the bowl, do I? You can see it beautifully. There it goes. It's wriggling away. It's trying to get away. It doesn't like the sunlight. And then I'm going to pop it back in its pond right now because that's quite long enough. OK, there you are. Have a little closer look. In we go. Bye bye, Newt. Boop. There you go. It's gone. OK, I'm going to show you what we've been making in the corner of our garden. Down at the far corner, this is what I've been making this week. And this is for wildlife. It's going to be our wildlife pond. There's the pond. See, there's the pond with the water. And then at the back, that soil there, I've dug plastic sheet under it so that when it gets wet, it'll stay permanently damp. And then we put logs behind it and animals will like those sort of logs. And then we bought some wild flower seeds and things like that. And we're going to populate this and make it into a little swamp. And there's the pond. And you can just see in the middle of the picture, there's a round thing, which is a tub. That's got a water billy growing out of it and a bit of water weed. But there's nothing else in it at the moment. That ramp is temporary. That's for any animals that fall in so they can climb out. But I'm going to make it a permanent ramp. What we're going to do now is give it its first snails. I'll go and fetch some now. This is Relin's fish tub. It's got our two goldfish living in it. And it's by the back door. And it's got a little fountain in a minute. But I've switched it off. Because we're going to look for snails to put in our pond. Now I know there's some snails in here. The question is whether I can find any. And to find them you have to feel down the side. Try and find a snail. I think I can see one there. No I can't. No. They tend to lurk around the sides. The question is, will I be successful in finding them? That feels like a snail. Look, that's two snails. They're not mating. One is just sitting on top of the other one. Don't know why that is. I'm going to try and find a couple more and make a whole family of snails. Can you see them? They're special water snails. feel some bits but they are yeah that makes three four there are that's five snails what we're going to do now is take these snails down the garden and set them free in our new nature pond and they will be the first inhabitants of the new nature pond so come with me let's go and take these snails down the garden What I'm going to do, next door neighbours, on that side there, there is a pond in the woods. I'm going to go and get a bucket of pond stuff in a couple of days, just whatever's in it, and tip that in our pond, and that all has sorts of larvae and eggs and things like that in it. But for the time being, these are going to be the first inhabitants of our new pond, and I'm going to drop them down just on top of where the lily is. There they go. Our pond now has snails. There's Relin. Don't know whether she approves or not. <laughs> 